If you're planning to step into the wondrous world of e-commerce through Amazon, there are a lot of tough decisions that you have to make. And with those decision comes choosing FBM or FBA. And this decision can impact your business to a great extent. Well, today we're about to discuss just that and I'm here to make your job so much more easier with SellerApp's FBA calculator. So let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Ria Mittal and I work as a product evangelist at SellerApp and welcome to another wonderful video where we talk about FBA versus FBM and how this decision has haunted uh, sellers throughout the history of selling on Amazon but I'm here to break it down for you in really easy steps. So first we're going to be understanding what is FBA and what is FBM and then we're going to be understanding SellerApp's FBA calculator which shows you profitability not only in FBA but versus FBM and the best part about this tool is that it's free on our dashboard so yes let's get started so first we're going to understand what is FBM and FBA so these are the two fulfillment services given to you by Amazon and let's understand what they are in depth so first we're going to look at FBA and FBA literally stands for fulfillment by Amazon this is where Amazon takes over your fulfillment services so if you're a seller who is low on inventory space does not want to spend a lot of money on warehousing and does not want to ship and pack individual orders FBA is the way to go so you also need to keep in mind that with FBA fulfillment uh, comes prime so you're automatically eligible for prime and most of the customers right now expect their products to be delivered in a day or two so prime lets you do that and I think it's a great benefit that comes with FBA so with Amazon FBA Amazon will pick pack and ship your products they will manage your inventory storage and handle product returns and don't forget that customers prefer choosing prime over any other service so if you're wondering how Amazon is able to deliver your order in a day or two with Prime, Amazon has thousands of warehouses all over the city. So your product will guarantee be delivered within less than five days. An additional perk that comes with FBA is that if you already have a professional selling account and you're selling on Amazon FBA, you're most likely to win a buy box. So moving on to FBM, Amazon's FBM literally stands for fulfillment by merchant. That means you will be taking over the fulfillment processes. In other words, sellers are responsible for fulfilling their orders and do not rely on Amazon for the processes. So we have seen this type of fulfillment be beneficial for seller who have exclusive products on their websites and shops. If you want to pack your product in a certain way, you can definitely do so here. FBM also builds up credibility, your brand building and so much more um, on Amazon that you may not be able to do in FBA. So as I mentioned before, um, if you are FBM, you can pack your boxes in a way that you want to. You can put in product inserts and so much more that FBA will not not allow you to do so. An additional perk that comes with FPM is that you don't have to worry about a lot of paperwork that comes with non-sales tax states. So of course, no paperwork and you can take care of your branding. So now you have a choice to make. So now let's talk about the dilemma that you guys are probably facing right now. Fulfillment methods are really important to e-commerce right now because a lot of customers right now don't have the in-store experience. So your delivery methods and your packaging is what makes you stand out on the platform. Also, the choice you make between FBA and FPM is really important for your business because this determines if you'll be successful on the platform or not. It is really not an easy task to decide between FBA and FBM because you have to take a look at all of these crucial points which I'm going to be talking about now. So let's take a look at them. The first comes product cost, marketing and ad cost, storage, warehousing cost, shipping cost, product packaging and labeling cost, maintenance and security, Amazon FBA fees, shipping to Amazon cost, referral and closing fees. So analyzing all of these costs are really important for your profit margin and this is a step that you definitely cannot miss. However, you have so many things going on when you're launching your first product on Amazon and you do not want to waste any more time, especially on this task. This is where we come in. SellerApp's free FBA calculator lets you do exactly that. We do the heavy lifting on our platform and let you decide using some important data metrics that are required for you. I'm sure by now you're all wondering how does SellerApp's FBA calculator work and I'm here to do just that. So let's get started with the demo. 
Seller Apps FP Calculator is an essential tool for an Amazon seller to understand the Amazon FBA fees and compare fulfillment methods. The Amazon FBA Calculator is also an excellent tool to understand the product's profitability by analyzing if a product is worth the effects and money. All you have to do is to copy the ASINs of your Amazon product and paste it. In the FBA Calculator tool, enter the item price, shipping and seller fulfillment cost, the cost to ship it, etc. Analyze the report comparing to the net profit and profit margins using FBM versus FBA calculated by our powerful algorithm of the FBA calculator. It's as simple as that. Also, did I mention that this tool is absolutely free and is not gonna cost you any more money? Well, let's get started. So let me show you how it works. First, go to sellerapp.com and click on free tools. Here you'll be able to find a whole suite of free tools available for Amazon sellers. For now, let's click on FB Calculator. Now, copy the ASIN of the product that you're selling or you want to sell. And you can also enter Amazon product URL. For this video, I am going to be clicking or entering the ASIN of a Bluetooth mouse. So as you can see, the tool shows you key details about your product, which is price, brand, ASIN, product dimensions, unit weight, and we want to scroll down to FBA calculation. So here you need to fill in some key information about your product, both in the merchant fulfillment section and Amazon fulfillment section. So in the merchant fulfillment section, you need to first fill in revenue that includes your item price and shipping. Moving on to your fulfillment cost, you need to click on the drop down menu here and enter your monthly storage, labor, packing material and so much more. So next you have to fill in the cost of product and you have to understand that this is how much did a single unit of the product costed you when you purchased it from your supplier. So moving on to the Amazon fulfillment section, you need to first mention your item price and then you need to mention your ship to Amazon cost, that is how much money it's gonna take for you to ship your products from um, the supplier to your Amazon warehouse or wherever you're adding your product to where uh, Amazon warehouse to. Then comes the cost of product and it's how much uh, one single unit costs you from directly purchasing it from the supplier. And that's it. Scroll down to find net profit and net profit margin percentage for both fulfillment by merchant and fulfillment by Amazon. Now you need to analyze and compare these results to figure out the best fulfillment method for you. And that's it. That's all you need to know about SellerApp's FBA calculator and this will help you analyze your profit margins between FBA and FBM. SellerApp's powerful machine learning algorithms fetch real-time data to measure important metrics required to calculate FBA fees in order for you to provide accurate results. Make the right fulfillment choice which are backed up by strong data points that SellerApp provides you. Thank you so much for watching this video everyone. If you like this video, let us know by liking the button down below and do not forget to subscribe to our channel to join our ever-growing SellerApp community. While you're subscribing to our channel, make sure to click that that bell icon next to it that way you'll be notified each time we publish a new video and of course i will see you all again next week and until the next time happy selling